Right, so for any day when I don't know what I'm planting, there are always more Pachiroglabra seedlings volunteering themselves in all sorts of unexpected places where the nuts must have fallen at some point and germinated and popped back up. So this wonderful little tree is actually quite a sociable one, which is, is really, really handy to have because a lot of fruit trees are from fairly tropical environments and although we do have a very tropical wet season our dry season is significantly closer to subtropical in a lot of it a lot of its behavior and that means a lot of things dry out more than they would like a lot of things get colder than they would like and the air tends to just be less hospitable than a lot of things would like so having a tree that you can plant quite close in and sort of increase that humidity decrease the sort of t rapid temperature shifts is really useful and these prune really easily they're really unfussy really hardy little trees and they produce an edible nut so as much as this is effectively a companion plant to all the other young trees coming up under the sycamore fig this is going to get its own companion plants as well so we're going to be putting in uh, a nice piece of dracaena reflexa just as a sort of marker plant and also a little bit of shelter from any of the direct light that will be coming in from the east here we're also going to be putting in some sansevieria trifasciata which is the west african one because it's the fastest growing so the zambian ones i just do not have enough of them to propagate as i do of this west african one because it is so speedy and finally when i can find them all we're going to be putting in three little pieces of jatropha podagrica which is the buddha belly a little alien looking succulent from tropical america uh, which is quite good because it's both toxic and very tolerant so it doesn't have a particularly aggressive root system at all it can get along with almost any other plant that i've ever seen it with the only issue is sometimes it it, it does start to push against other plants because it does get quite obese as it ages hence the buddha belly uh, sort of name um but it's really easy to transplant when that happens and it's it is nice and toxic so it's a good one to just squeeze into shady spots or even quite sunny spots uh just to add a bit of toxicity without compromising other plantings Right, so that should be everything for today, so thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed it, and if you haven't enjoyed it, thank you for watching anyway. Please tune in again tomorrow because we'll be planting something different. I do have an idea, but we'll see if it pans out.